Hello and welcome to BW305, Query Design and Analysis. My name is Rob and I'll be your instructor for this course. To get things kicked off, let's take a look at how to launch Business Explorer, Bex Analyzer. So Business Explorer consists of two different tools, primarily Query Analyzer and Query Designer. The first part of our course is going to detail Query Analyzer which is the primary tool that allows us to analyze data that resides within the SAP BW warehouse. Let's start out by launching BEX Analyzer through the SAP backend. This is one of two ways of launching BEX Analyzer. So we're logging into the SAP BW system, which happens to be a sandbox system, through the SAP logon GUI. Typing in your user and your password. And once we connect, I'll give you a real high level overview of the BW system as the majority of the BW system training takes place in the BW310 course. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I will talk about a few of the key transactions with an SAP BW. Okay, here we are at the initial SAP logon screen. From here, we need to go to the top left corner and type in transaction code RSA1. And let's launch Business Explorer. So now that we have an idea of why we're, or how we're tapping into this data in the back end, let's take a look at the front end of the house. So in order to do this, go to the transaction forward slash N, which essentially takes over the existing transaction to launch a new one RRMX. So RRMX actually does a call, so it connects with Microsoft Excel on your machine and launches Business Explorer. So as you can see currently, all I have is the SAP logon, which I can close, and we have our SAP session, which is currently the data warehouse workbench. So when I do slash N RRMX, it's going to take this current screen, transform that, and call Microsoft Excel. So currently we can see that we are in Microsoft Excel and we've successfully launched Business Explorer. You can tell that you've launched Business Explorer by this bottom toolbar here. And if you can't see this toolbar, just go ahead and click on View, Toolbars, and ensure that both the BEX Analysis Toolbox and the BEX Design Toolbox are checked. Try out the Find feature. So the Find feature, like I just discussed, can search both the descriptions and the technical names within a query. So for instance, if I wanted to look for sales, like a sales query, simply type in sales, and it's going to scan both the descriptions and the technical names of all objects, both info provider and query, throughout the BW system. Go ahead and expand this. So here we can see that we're looking at a whole assortment of info providers that contain sales either in their info provider technical name or description. We can see all these DSOs, data store objects, which we can create queries on. We can see info cubes, which are the cube icon, which are the most commonly reported info provider in the BW system based on the way they were architected for performance. And we can see that this query is made up of region, net price, and quantity. Now these are colored differently because they're key figures. And this is a characteristic region. So this concludes our first lesson, how to launch BEX Analyzer and open your first query.